Yeah, um, my room is in shambles right now. Just ignore that. The fact that I'm even showing up to film today, that's for me, okay? I have to do this though. The makeup goblin needs to know. Not yesterday at this point that you're watching this, but for me, the day I'm filming this, yesterday I reviewed the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, and to be quite honest, I didn't really like it. Like, that's a lie. I liked it, but I didn't love it. This foundation is supposed to be a new and improved version of the Ultra HD foundation. And I think I like the Ultra HD a lot better. If you want to go and watch my original review on this, I will have it linked down below for you guys. But I thought it looked good, but my T-zone area looked really oily and heavy and I just know I need to work on this foundation more, play around with it more. It definitely was not a love at first sight type of foundation. I just needed to know if it actually is a new and improved formula. I don't think it is. I want to see the exact differences between these two because honestly, the Ultra HG has been a tried and true foundation for me like since 2014. I think this is like my third bottle of this, which if you've seen my makeup, collection that's a big deal so I need to know if this is better did they ruin something good that we had going on yeah so if you want the claims of all of this $43 it's out at Sephora right now it's supposed to instantly blur be like a natural finish blase blase I mean my interpretations of it yesterday it has like a soft matte semi matte kind of finish on the skin it has about medium coverage not too buildable from what I experienced yesterday and I don't know it just didn't seem the best for my skin type if you're new here I have normal to dry skin leaning a bit more dry in the winter though right now my skin feels pretty good but I do have like my nose is drier things like that I have very sensitive acne prone skin I didn't wake up with any new zits so that's good I don't think this broke me out. Normally my skin reacts pretty quickly to products it doesn't like, which updates. I'm worried. I think the rougher hydration cream makes me break out. I think that's what this is from. Anyways, let's get going. I'm going to play around with my base as well. So yesterday I used the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas when I first tried out the foundation. Today I'm going to go for something even more tried and true, the Smashbox Primerizer, because maybe since I applied the Tatcha in my T-zone area, that was the explanation. Maybe it didn't agree with the Makeup Forever Foundation. I don't know, I'm really trying to give this new Makeup Forever Foundation the benefit of the doubt because I love the Ultra HD and in my eyes, Makeup Forever really doesn't do any wrong, especially with complexion. They just, they got good complexion products. But we're gonna test that again today. Can we talk about the packaging though? I'll give it to the HD skin. How much more luxe and beautiful is the new packaging? So much more aesthetic. I love this a thousand times more. This is kind of ugly, no? It looks like cheap, it feels cheap, it's plastic. Though honestly, sometimes I don't mind a plastic bottle because I know it's not gonna break. Big improvement on the packaging, I will say that. The claims I feel like between the two foundations aren't even like that similar. This is supposed to be like the invisible cover foundation this is undetectable stage okay i guess that is the same anyways i'm just salty let's reapply the hd skin on this side of my face and see and my the colors are different so let me show you i am going to be wearing 1n14 which is previously y245 in the ultra hd foundation so the tones the colors are going to be different sorry about that and then let me show you R330 in the Ultra HD. See if there's a consistency change here. So right here is the Ultra HD, right here is the HD skin. Instantly, the Ultra HD is more liquidy for sure. Like you can see, the sky is not moving. And I tend to like more of a liquidy consistency. These like, to me, aren't, they, sh they feel like complete different foundations to me. I just think it's odd that this is a new and improved formulation and I just feel like they're complete different foundations. We'll see though, I haven't done a side by side. So let's put the thicker foundation on the HD skin. Gonna use it with a sponge though. Yesterday I really did enjoy applying it with a brush. But let's just see, I think it applies good both ways. So I just did one pump. I'm gonna try and do less foundation today apply thinner layer see if that makes a difference in my t-zone area and let's blend it in 
So I would say I probably did end up applying more than I wanted to of this yesterday, a little bit more of a thick layer because I was testing how good it built up. So with a pretty thin layer, I probably used about half a pump. Here's what it's looking like. You see what I mean? It doesn't quite reach medium coverage with just a thin layer. I still have a half a pump left, so let me do my thing, especially right here in the cheeks and where I have acne scarring and freckles. My forehead normally is pretty well behaved, so it doesn't need too much foundation, but I'm trying not to apply too much in the T-zone area to see if that makes a difference with the wear. So it looks pretty. You can see that semi kind of, I guess, demi matte finish here. It looks really, really skin-like. It looks really pretty right now, I'm not gonna lie. And it looked really, really pretty yesterday. All right, let's get the Ultra HD foundation on this side. I just, oh, this color is so much better for me. It's not quite so yellow. Okay, let's blend it out. I used the butt end of the sponge to blend out the HD skin. I am now using the side of my sponge to blend out the Ultra HD. Despite the HD skin being a little bit thicker in consistency, I do feel like the HD skin does blend out a little bit more effortlessly. Not that that matters too much, but it's something that I noticed. Okay, and then let me put a little bit extra on the redness, whatever is left on my cap right here. Yeah, to me, these are really not similar <laughs> foundations at all. Maybe the Ultra HD needs to dry more, but the Ultra HD is a little bit thinner on the skin. It looks a little bit more hydrating. The HD skin looks a little thicker and it definitely has more of a matte finish. I'm actually gonna turn down the lights like pretty dark because that way you can truly see the difference. That being said right now, upon initial application, I prefer the look of the HD skin foundation where it's more matte because I feel like my face just looks more soft. I want to apply just a little bit more being that it is a thinner foundation of the Ultra HD because it just looks like I'm wearing more of the HD skin, but I only did one pump for both, so. But right here, there we go. That looks a little bit more even. Give it a second to dry down. I don't know, you guys, the Ultra HD, the older foundation, it looks more skin-like to me. It looks a little healthier. It, I think it caters to my skin type a little bit better. HD skin though, I'm loving how it looks. It looks a little bit more perfected. My skin looks softer, a little bit more blurred. It has more of a matte finish compared to the Ultra HD. It's just weird to me that this is supposed to be the new and improved formulation. They just act as two different foundations to me and I would love to have like both of these in the line because I feel like they cater to different skin types. I am going to do the rest of my makeup as per usual. I will fast forward through it so you can see the products that I'm using. I'm pretty much going to use the same products that I used in my initial HD skin review because I have the basket out and my makeup collection is um gone. So we have to use these products, but I did manage to pull a different powder. Uh, so I used the Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder yesterday. I love it, but I don't know, maybe if that contributed to my T-zone looking a little heavier, I pulled some tried and trues to use today instead. So let's get into it. Makeup is done. I went very every day today, but I mean the difference at this point is almost imperceptible I mean, that's pretty much how it works with almost all foundations The only difference that I'm seeing is I mean the HD Skin looks a little bit more blurred and I think that has to do with the fact that it's more of a matte finish So you can definitely tell that the ultra HD is a little bit more thin It's just not 
as matte, so it's not as blurring. But these are like subtle differences. Like I am looking up as close as I can. So can you tell the difference? What do you think? I'm gonna switch over to my iPhone camera because I feel like iPhone cameras show the truth. And then I will do a wear time update with you. But here is the situation that we're at right now. All right, in front of a window with nothing but natural light. Oh my gosh, I hope you can't see my room from here. But here is the Ultra HD side. Here is the HD skin side. Can you always see the differences that I'm seeing? Very subtle at this point. Both sides pretty much look the same. Okay guys, so it is about 2 p.m. I've been wearing the foundations for like four hours now. <sighs> okay, it's doing that thing again around here, the HD skin where the oil is just really, really collecting. I was hoping maybe that could be an issue of the Tatcha Silk canvas, but no, even comparing it to the Ultra HD, it just looks a little bit more textured in that area and a little bit more oily. Now the differences are minor. It's not like some major thing where I can look at my face and I'm like, ew, that side of your face looks gross. No, from a normal distance, even from a close distance, they look the same. One is not really outperforming the other, but when I get close, I can see that same thing that happened yesterday when I tried this foundation where the HD skin just collects the oil here and it doesn't look good. Now, I will say, you'll notice that this smile line right here with the Ultra HD is a little bit more prominent. It's always this smile line. This one always shows, so I'm not even going to judge it by that. The Ultra HD, I feel like my skin looks a tad drier though. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Oy vey. They look about the same right now, though. The main point here. But I see the oil collecting on the ultra skin side, which is what I do not like about the HD skin. Not ultra skin. HD skin. Okay, I'll check in in a few more hours and um, see how it's going from there. I have some interesting results for you. It is... 7.30. I've been wearing the foundation for like almost nine hours, probably like eight and a half. This is spaghetti sauce. Don't ask me any questions. Anyways, let's take a look at the foundation. You guys, the old foundation is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a huge, huge difference, but honestly, I feel like these two foundations are very different from one another. I feel like the HD skin, it's more matte. The Ultra HD is a little bit more skin-like, a little bit more natural. Here's where I'm noticing the difference. For some reason, the HD skin, again right here, it's really collecting oil in a way that's not flattering. Not to say that this side looks great either, but it's been like nine hours. But you see how this side just looks worse and more textured? I'm sad and you want to know why I'm extra sad the ultra HD foundation the older formula They've officially taken and taken it off of the Sephora website, too It was on there yesterday, but it's no longer there. So therefore it's definitely been discontinued. So <laughs> I Don't dislike the HD skin foundation, but I just I like my ultra HD foundation better I'm really sad that they've decided to discontinue it. It was really great before I loved it for every day I just the side just looks more lightweight and natural to me. Uh, this side doesn't look bad. I don't want it to come across as though I don't like the new HD Skin Foundation. I do like it and I'm going to continue to use it and play around with it. But it's just not as good as my favorites. And my favorite happened to be the Ultra HD. So there we have it, you guys. Uh, that was the direct comparison. I mean, I feel like the proof is in the pudding, right? Can you see the differences that I'm seeing? Subtle, I am in front of a studio light. I am in front of a magnetized mirror. The average Joe on the street is not gonna tell me one side of my face looks better than the other. But in terms of scientific research, I like Ultra HD better. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. So many of you guys requested that I do this, so I was more than happy to. I think this is gonna be my last video that I'm filming in my beauty room. Oh my goodness, I actually think it is. <gasps> Look, guys, I'm almost done. I just have one more bin of foundations to pack. Not my room, I have a lot of makeup in my room, but in terms of this shelving unit, <sighs> okay. Bye guys, I love you and I will see you when I see you next. Adios!